Good morning, everyone. This is Figfire here, and we are on my SSP, my survival single player map. Um, I've put a significant amount of hours into this map, um, and I, I haven't. There's hasn't really been a let's play regarding this map specifically, uh, but I'm kind of here today to introduce to you guys a new map I've got going on. Um, but I'm going to start and share with you guys. Um, so I'm very excited about the whole notion. And so this is kind of kind of be an introduction. Um, so if you don't really know me, this is me. Um, I, I'm not actually black. This is Lee from The Walking Dead. Uh, I love that game. And I just thought, you know, I think he'd be a cool person to be in Minecraft. Or Minecraft. So I chose him as my skin. So primarily what the new series is going to be about is... It's not going to be anything crazy. It's definitely going to be 100% pure vanilla. Um, uh, I'm not. I don't have particular gifts in redstone. I don't have particular gifts in creative building. I don't have particular gifts in in anything in particular. I just really love the game so much. Um, and to any of my viewers, we're gonna go over a lot of the basic stuff. We're gonna talk about you know just how to quickly optimize everything. Um, and we're, we're going to build some cool stuff. Oh, man. I, I hit my donkey earlier with my sword when I was fighting off some mobs from last night. And he's still recovering. But he's, he's a good guy, this guy. Um, how do I give... How do I give you food? This does not work. I don't have any bread. Um, anyways, you did good, donkey. You did good. That'll do, donkey. That'll do. Um, so we're going to start off in a fresh new world. We are currently using Snapshot 13W25A. Uh, most recent one is just a bunch of bug fixes, which is good. Um, appreciate Dinnerbone. Shout out to him. So we're going to start a brand new freaking world. Um, we're just going to survive and we're going to you know, have a good time. So enjoy. Oh, this, is, this is awful, man. This is awful. Let's play as they're difficult. Okay, we're going to try this again. Good morning, everyone. My name is Figfire, and we are starting our new Let's Play. So this is obviously, if you can't tell, this is Minecraft. Um, this is my survival single-player series. Um, I've dumped dozens upon dozens of hours, just like any other normal person's SSP, but actually this Let's Play isn't going to be about this particular world, it's going to be about a brand new world we're going to start, and this is just kind of an introduction, um, just, just to introduce who I am, what I'm about, and what we're going to be covering. So in my survival single player game, there's not going to be any you know specialty in redstone, I'm not the greatest builder, I mean ignore that house, I do build better houses than that, that's the current house I live in. Um, I don't have, I can't create humongous castles, at least not as easily as other people can. I'm not an incredible PvP player. Uh, jeez, what else? What else? Um, I don't have a funny accent. I'm not a chick. This is not depth. I don't really have a niche in terms of Minecraft. Um, let's play. So I can't honestly tell you why my Minecraft Let's Play is better than the bazillions, millions, and millions of other ones out there, but. I mean, I, think, I don't think my voice is annoying enough, I love the game enough, and I've got the hardware to do it. So, I mean, it'd be a waste for me to not try, right? Uh, I did mention that I had good building skills, but if I did have good creative mind, this would not be empty. But, I mean, I just recently built this house. It's not the greatest house in the world, but... Um, anyways... So this is just an introduction to the Survival Single Player series, and once we get started, we'll talk about some of the parameters I'm going to be living by, uh, just to make things a little bit more interesting. Um, so can't wait to get started. So I guess we should just start. I mean, I'm wasting time. I got, I got things to do. So thanks. This is just a little introduction. I'm glad you're still here with us so far, and we will see you in the brand new Fresh Thinking Seed. Peace out. And we're here. Welcome to the brand fresh new stinking world. Um, now I know 
starting Minecraft games are never fun, but I'm going to try and take you through the process of starting a Minecraft game if you've never really heard of one. And if, and if you have, you might as well listen to me and correct all the problems I'm going to tell you anyways. Um, obviously, first thing you want to do is grab as much wood as possible um, from your first tree, because that's pretty much what you're going to be using for your first hit. So you go ahead and convert that all to planks, obviously crafting table. Uh, place that sucker down. We're gonna. The only thing we're actually gonna make is a pickaxe here, um, because the pickaxe, the wooden pickaxe, is the really the only thing you need. Because you're gonna grab as much stone as you can with this wooden pickaxe, and after that, um, you're gonna use stone tools. You've already warped out of the freaking wood age because the wood age is absolutely awful. The first thing we're gonna do is look for some stone. Surface stone would be great. I don't find any in the next area. I'm just gonna start digging down. Um, I don't see any surface stone. Um, you will grab some food, as much food as you can, because your first night is always going to be in some sort of hole or cave area. So the real, the first primary goals: is one, finding coal; two, oh, here's stone, but it's underground, so we're not going to deal with that. Um, you want to find coal? You want to find as much food as you can. And oh, see, I've already broken my. my Pickaxe, how not? Silly me. Alright, we're gonna make another one. Because I was a fool. Okay, we're gonna break that. Now this raw food should be enough for me to... Oh, here we go. So we're gonna grab some stone here. Stone. 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 Okay. This should be good enough to get us our first couple tools. Um, let's see, we got eight. So from this, we're going to make two of these guys. Ah, I didn't make the sticks, okay. Make some sticks. Two of these guys. Mm -hmm. and then one sword. Got that. Nope, nope. Yep, yep, yep. Go. Nope. Trying to go as fast as I can. Gotta be impressive. Gotta go fast. So that's what Sonic says. Gotta be fast. Gotta go fast. I don't know. Forget what the meme is. Um, I'm gonna grab this food. Grab this leather. Um, then we're gonna grab even more stone with the stone pickaxes because they are a little bit faster, last longer. Okay. So now we've got a, quite a bit of stone. Um, I have to get 12. That should be 12. Okay. Now the next real big thing is to find some surface coal. Um, surface coal is definitely what we need. We need to gather as much of it can, much of it as we can before it hits nighttime. Primarily because we need it for torches and we need it to cook up this food. Um, so as you're looking for surface coal, it's okay to eat this raw food as long as you know you have enough to sustain you through the night. Um, and if you didn't really know, you can always use the sun to kind of judge what time it is. Right now it's about, say, 11 o'clock. So we, we actually have a lot of time. We're making good time here. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, you know, running around at night yet, but I'd like to get out of this biome. These aren't my, this isn't my favorite biome. I don't really like biomes with trees, to be honest. Um, like, like flat ones, nice and flat bi uh, biomes, or mountains. Plains and mountains are kind of my jam. Um, I remember I tried to do a wool challenge once, and literally the whole biome was this snow tree biome, and it's, it's has scared me ever since because, like, oh no, okay, no, see, it, no, this is okay. Never mind, we're good, we're good. So the whole other biome was all snow biome, and I just couldn't get out of it. And I I didn't turn on extra large biomes. I didn't, I didn't um. I don't know. I don't know what what happened. It was it was just really weird. I didn't understand what was going on, and so I had to stop the wool the wool challenge midway just because I couldn't um, I couldn't get out of the snow biome. I just it's just a waste of thirty minutes of recording. Um, here we go, chickens, chickens, chickens. And so I don't I don't think it's a good idea to get into this forest because it's harder to find um, surface coal when they're you know. And all there is is just trees to look at. So I'm going to try to avoid this forest. Unfortunately, it looks like it's the only thing in the area. So we're going to play some parkour. 
not great at parkour. And so bad at parkour, I got stuck underneath that lily pad. Parkour, parkour. Okay, what time is it now? See, we're, I think it's like at 1 o'clock. It's definitely past the horizon. So we are on the darker side of times. And if I can't find coal, I um, mean, I'm just a really bad Minecraft player if I can't find coal in these first 10 minutes of um, daytime. Um, I mean, I just been a little bit unlucky we're looking around so we're gonna kinda emphasize more on what you're supposed to do in your first ten minutes um, you don't really need to worry about collecting blocks yet because you're just primarily gonna wanna focus on getting in a hole that first night and then from there you're gonna start collecting resources blocks and stuff while you fight through the night you can of course always sleep um, I try not to sleep I think sleeping is takes away a lot of the danger in the game um, oh, look at the zombie um, so I, I try not to sleep, especially these first few days. Oh, this guy, Dinnerbone's new zombies are, they're, they're difficult, man, I don't know. Um, they pop out of nowhere, apparently the tracking, I think I watched a Doc M video and he was talking about how the tracking's up to 80-something blocks away, which is absolutely absurd. Um, so they can just, they can start smelling you out at 80 blocks and then they start reproducing on you and it dinner bone is definitely stepping up the difficulty first those skellies those skellies are difficult guys to kill I'm not gonna lie um, you can't even get close to them if you don't have a bow you're kinda you're gonna eat arrows for a long time um, I don't know how we're not seeing surface coal in any of this there we go surface coal don't have a shovel um, Shovels are kind of, when you're first starting out, shovels are kind of optional. Primarily because you can punch most of the things. Shovels are really meant for efficiency in terms of making a large project. Otherwise, punching anything that a shovel can break quickly is relatively quickly itself. That's why I don't really waste resources on a shovel this first run. This is a very nice coal vein. This is gonna, definitely going to get us through tonight in terms of torches and means to cook our food. So once we get all these this coal... We're going to try and get some more food and definitely more wood. Um, time is it? And I think there's there's a nice cave over there. Is that a lighting error? I don't know if that's a cave or lighting error. Regardless, we're probably going to hang out in there. So actually what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and make some sticks now. Or make some torches now. We're going to check out what's going on in there. Um, this will probably be our home. Pretty decent home. Um... I'll teach you about that trick in a sec. I'm sure you guys already knew about it, but there's nothing wrong with teaching a little bit more. Okay, so this is a pretty good place. We've got enough cobble to block this area off. Uh, we'll, we might explore it later tonight, but we'll probably just dig down because we're pansy cowards. And especially I have no armor, and I am on hard. Yep, I am on hard. So right now, we're going to go ahead and set up shop here put that down we're gonna make just oh, don't have sticks what I will need is indeed a lot of wood before the night hits okay so we're gonna grab a bunch of probably yeah, I'll be fine yeah I'll be fine until then so let's grab as much wood as we can So before you hole up for your first night, if you're not sleeping, obviously if you're sleep if you putting yourself rules to sleep, absolutely. I've already co I collected the three wool you need to make a bed just in case things get really hairy. But like I said, I try to avoid sleeping unless I'm working on a project so creepers don't pop up. But if I'm in pure survival mode, um, sleeping is kind of a cop out. Um, I generally don't like sleeping. Um, so that's why we're kind of frantically freaking out because we're going to have to lay through the whole 10 minutes. We'll need enough wood to you know, make the sticks we need to create tools. After that, we're just going to branch mine. Hopefully, we'll have enough armor to get some iron tools, maybe a chest plate, just for basic medium protection. Um, general good Minecraft protocol, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, so... Go, 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 go. Let's see. 
And you can see the horizon, it's already turning orange, so we're going to turn in. Oh. By the way, we are guest starring with Dog. This is Dog. Dog's real name is Tyson. Um, and he likes to be vocal sometimes, so I do apologize for that. Um, it's not entirely professional, but you know, some, some forces can't be stopped. Like Tyson. Come on, dude, you're embarrassing me. Alright, so... We're going to hold up. We do need a window. Uh, so the, our window is going to look like that. This would have sufficed as a, this would not suffice as a window. I put blocks there because creepers and monsters can drop down like that. And you want to create your window so you can check day. You want to have it, it one across, or at least one across, and you need... Um, I mean, obviously they can't get in because there are no mobs that are only one high. Um, so we are safe for now. We're going to put a torch there. And we're going to grab some materials. going to let Dog out of my room. And we'll be right back once I get my little home base set up. And I can show you what I started doing and all that good stuff. Come on, dude. Let's be professional. Alright, and we're back. So, you, as you can tell, we are getting our way going here. We got, I got my two furnaces, heating up one, some iron, two, some food. Let's get ourselves fed. Um, and so, right now, I'm just collecting resources um, to, for, you know, to block up stuff and maybe expose some surface iron and stuff like that. But usually this first night... You don't really want to go caving. Caving is kind of dangerous. Look, there's a spider there already. Got my number. Um, so pretty much what you want to do your first night, at least in my opinion, maybe there's something better you can do. You just kind of want to dig down. Um, if you find um, a cave, you can dig around it. Or if you're brave enough, you can try to go down. Uh, it just depends how experienced you are. Um, but this, I find this way, it's a great way to just gather your basic resources and stuff like that. It uses up... Oh, here we go. See, so don't really want to go down there. Don't have any ar armor. Don't have any... Um, see? And... Yeah, you really don't want to... I mean, maybe you can. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not... Not the most... Com I mean, I'm, I'm competent... Oh, Goodness, we just chose the absolute worst luck. Oh, iron, iron, iron. Um. Dig around. We're gonna check our vision here. Because if that's the only way, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for that iron if that's the only way through there. Um. But yeah. So we're gonna face check here. Easily, very easily mean bad news for us if we're not careful. Um, oh, snap, see? If you don't have a sword and you're dumb like I am. Oh, I do have a sword. Okay, I do have a sword. Um, so we're going to take out a water here. If you can take out a water source block if you put a torch 
in it if it's a little nook and cranny. Um, so we're going to go down here. We're going to grab this iron. Always keep your eyes open, especially with this new tracking system. The zombies will find you. And of course, if you don't know, creepers are silent until it's too late. So if you hear them, that noise, you're probably already dead. So we did use up a lot of torches in this area, but that's okay. We do have a lot of coal left and a lot of torches. And this little this little chunk of iron is definitely worth it for these first um, couple of moments when playing. So we're going to go back up here. We're going to throw even more iron into the furnace. We got enough coal. I'm confident in our coal stock. We're going to even make that. And we, in fact, do have enough for an iron chest plate. Though I am... See, I don't know. I don't actually know what you should make first. But the chest plate or the tools. Um, depends how, on how conservative you play. If you did want to start caving early. Like, if we did make the chest plate, we could probably go down those caves I opened up earlier. Um, but if you play conservatively, you might just want to make your first iron tools and get out of this... Um, Stone Age. Um, I don't know. I'll make the judgment call once I. Oh man, it's absolutely worst luck. Look at all these spiders. There's got to be a spawner or something. Um, so let's see. I'm gonna go check it out. Check it out. Okay. I am gonna make the chest plate, and we are gonna start. Oh no! I thought I had enough for chest plate. I don't. Um. The chest plate, I think, is the biggest bang for your buck in terms of um, iron to armor ratio. Certainly, you could I could have made a you know some sh some shoes or a hat, but I don't think the iron would have the iron per armor. I suppose is worth it. Um, and at this point, you are kind of desperate for iron, or yeah. Um, so it's not entirely the best, always the best option. So we are going to get be a little bit ballsy here, and we're going to try to go deep. Um, get rid of that. Left, right. And so we're going to grab this. And every two or three, we are going to face check. You never know who's going to pop up. You never know who's already tracking you. Um, face check. Step up. Face check. Face check. Good. And just like that, we, with this outcrop, I think we outdid the number of torches. And something I would always recommend when you're caving is always look up. Because you never know, yes, you might have torched everything else that was perfect. But, goodness, you never know when they're going to get the drop on you, literally. Oh, look at this guy. Look at that guy. That guy just thinks he owns the whole world, doesn't he? And you know what the problem with that is? He's... Ah! That's our way out. That is our way out, that guy. That guy has got our number. And... Oh, man. You know, Dinnerbone, he's buffed, the, he's buffed the skeletons, he buffed the zombies, he even buffed the spiders. The spiders apparently can sometimes now spawn with adverse effects, which, you know, cave spiders are the absolute worst things on the planet. How is he going to buff the creepers, huh? How is he going to buff the creepers? I don't know. Um, the thing is, we got to get that creeper out. Like, he blocked our way in. Um, there's just n I don't even know. Like, how are we supposed to get out? Always face check. Always, always face check. Okay, we got him. Nice. Okay. Thing is, they can still track us down here. That's the bad part. So when it is day, we don't know if there's a creeper up there. Um... But we are going to try and control it by putting one measly... Oh, look, it's daytime! Okay, so we're going to gather up our stuff. Use, but try to finish up our... You know what? We're just going to probably toss that. 
Okay. Got our sword ready. We're gonna pillar up. Are you angry? He is not angry, so we're gonna we're gonna bolt. Look at all these creepers. Okay. Spiders are not angry in the daytime. Creepers are angry in the daytime. So we're gonna just get the We're just gonna haul. We're hauling. We're gonna look for safety. There's safety in no trees. We're gonna get out of here. Um We are gonna call this episode. Um we survived the first day. Day one over. Um that's kinda how I'm gonna try to run these way um uh, run these episodes. Just 20 minute episodes real quick. So hope you guys stayed aboard uh, with your first day in Minecraft Training 101. Um, so we'll see you next time. I don't know which direction we're going to go, but we'll find out. Peace.